Okay, I had to draw this again. I lost it from the previous video. Um, moving on to this video, I remember we we're trying to do this pattern here where it's 3 to the 1 plus 3 to the 2 plus 3 to the 3, so on and so forth. And here we're stopping at 3 to the 5. But what if I wanted to add, I'll put a plus here and then dot, 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 add 3 to some arbitrary number n where n could be 5, it could be 2, it could be 10, it could be 100, whatever I want to be. Say I wanted to write a program to add all these numbers. Well, let's choose 100, okay, an extreme case. In or the way we've written the program right now, we stop at 243 because that is the value of 3 to the 5th. So in order to change my stopping condition, or terminating condition as we call it in computer science, I have to figure out what 3 to the 100 is and type that in there and I'll, I'll give you a hint, 3 to the 100 is a really big number and we get a compile error. But in theory, let's say I could type it in there. What is 3 to the 100 and how would I find that out? Well, I wouldn't. It's hard. It's it's too big. It's I don't want to deal with that. All right. So what's a, another option that we have? If you pause the video, think about it. Hopefully you're realizing, you know, if we, like in the case of 5, we just need to go through the loop 5 times. Okay. Let me, uh, let me try that again. Oh, let me do that with an eraser this time. All right, remember we went through this loop. We said 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we were done. Okay, well, how would we do that with 100? Well, it's pretty straightforward. We say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, 12, 12. You get it, 99, 100. <laughs> 1, 2, skip a few, 99, 100. <laughs> but that's the idea. I, I need a variable or a piece of memory to track how many times have we been through the loop and let's terminate when we've gone through a hundred times. Now 100 is a big number to swallow and so I'm not going to just write my code and and say 100 and pray I got it right. Instead what I'm going to do is engineer, call go figure, engineer, uh, the code. I'm, I'm first going to do it up to five. I know what the results should be for five. And if I get the same results that I got over here with 5, then I can feel comfortable replacing that number 5 with the number 100. So how are we going to do that? Well, we need a piece of memory. Can you think of a piece of memory to use? We've used EAX, EBX, ECX, but I'm not seeing anywhere that we've used EDX. So let's use EDX to keep track of what loop iteration we're on. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like so. Let me, let me just put this in here. Well, XOR... EDX with itself. Let's clean it out, zero it out. Uh, do the loop. And then right here I'm going to say, hey, increment, add 1 to EDX. And then compare EDX with 5. All right, as long as EDX is less than 5, let's go through the loop again. All right, so is this, this is a good solution? Pause the video, think about it. Actually, there's an issue with the solution, and the reason I've coded it up this way is because it's a snag that me and my son ran into. Actually, I think I saw this one come. No, I didn't see this one coming. We both didn't expect it. I forgot that there's certain conditions that will cause this uh, setup to fail, right? Maybe you know it, maybe you don't. If you don't know it, pause the video again and see if you can notice what's going to happen. Run through it step by step if you have to and see what, what what's going to cause this to fail, all right, let me um, start the debugger up. F11, Control Alt D. Oh, look at that. That's that's frustrating. That's the reg can I shrink this? Can I, oh, you know what I could do? We'll put the registers down there. All right, F11. Uh, let's see. Clear out ECX and EDX. All right, ECX and EDX are cleared out. Multiply EAX and EBX. So right now we're on the first iteration of the loop. EAX, you know what I forgot to write? You know what I forgot to write? Up here at the top, I forgot to write which registers are tracking what. EBX is tracking this base here. EAX, the accumulator register, it's tracking the current power that we're on. And ECX is tracking the total. There we go. That's, that's good. All right. Multiply EAX by EBX. You can see EAX goes to 3. Um, add it to ECX, that makes our total 3. Increment EDX, so EDX is now 1. Compare EDX to 5, well no, 1's less than 5, let's do this again. F11, oh, jump last time back up to here. 
multiply EAX and EBX again. We're going to hit this with the three again. So there you go. Add ECX, EAX. Okay, add our nine over to here. Increment EDX. So now we're on the second iteration. So EDX will be two. Do you see a problem? Do you see a problem? EDX is a zero right now. If I increment EDX, it'll be a one. Didn't we already do that? Didn't we already increment it and change it to a one? Why did it go to a zero? Okay, maybe you know, maybe you don't. For those of you who don't, I'm going to keep going. Pay attention to this. We do not want this one to go to a zero. Right? That was bad. So pay attention to it. Let's see. Can, can you decide when that's going to happen? Let's do the compare. Jump less than. Go to the top. All right, we need to do the multiply again. So 27. We need to multiply 9 by 3. So, oh, do you see it? You see EDX. When, why did that happen? When we say multiply, we're messing with EAX and EBX. What happened? Do you remember? Well... Probably you do, and probably I'm wasting your time. But the result of a multiply is stored in the E, D, X, E, A, X pair. Remember, a multiply can cause an overflow outside of the original bits that you're multiplying. And so it overflows over to here. And I'll give you a hint. Our multiplies we're doing in our additions, we're eventually going to overflow completely out. But, but anyway, I want to point that out. So how are we going to fix this? Okay, we can't use E, D, X as our memory. Because uh, that's going to get zeroed out when we do the multiply. There is no overflow in what we're doing. So how are we going to fix that? Well, that is the topic of our next video.